Hey guys, in the last video, we have discussed about the difference between the servlet config and servlet context. So I need to add a few advantages over here. The advantages are, if suppose you can see that there are in this web.xml file, we have two servlets, employee one and employee two, right? And then here we have this init parameter, which is called as a servlet config, right? And then we have the servlet context here. Now, the advantages of using servlet context and config is that uh, the first thing is it is easy to maintain. For example, if you want to do any changes, you don't want to do in each and every single servlet. So what you want to do is that you have to do the changes only in the web.xml file. For example, if the company name is updated, uh, after some times, if the company is changing, uh, its name, uh, let's say I'm just uh, saying something like like this, the updated company name is something like this. So in this case, you see this context parameter was used in this EMP1 servlet and employee2 servlet, right? So both of them are working for this company only. So in that case, consider that if there are 100 employees and then you need to change in each and every single servlet right so that is a tedious task the company name should be changed so instead if you keep that as a context parameter now we have to change only over here and then now if i run this code you can see that it will be updated in both of these servlets like if i say employee one he is from this updated company and then if i say click on employee two he is also from the same updated company getting it so now the maintenance is very easy if you use servlet context similarly if you want to change the, uh, you know, update the uh, name of the employee or you want to update the name of the parameter or whatever. So you can do that one in one single location that is inside this web.xml file alone. You can just, you know, do the changes even in the servlet. So wherever you want to change, you can change it over here. For example, if you are updating the employee name as uh, something like this and it can be added over here itself and in similar way you can add in all the servlets wherever the servlets or whichever the servlets you want to edit uh, you can edit it in one single location so this is very easy and let me run this again for you and then you can see that the this is updated and the company name is also updated and similarly the second output over here you can see that right so uh, the advantage of using this uh, servlet config and configuration is that easy to maintain and no need to edit in each and every single servlet you can edit everything in one single place that is web.xml clear thank you and thanks for watching the video